today is my mom's birthday and I ordered a present for her from her favorite store like I think about a week ago and for some reason every time I tracked it like I ordered it to make sure it would get here by her birthday because the store is Nicobar and I've ordered from there before and they deliver pretty quickly but I checked the tracking link last night and it said it was going to be delivered on 11th February which is a day after my mom's birthday so I was really stressing but lo and behold I woke up this morning came on time thankfully we're going for my mom's birthday dinner tonight and I'm gonna pack it and keep it ready so I can give her her present on her birthday so I got her this necklace I'm gonna wrap it myself in a different gift wrapping paper but the only thing I'm worried about is that this is my mom's favorite store and I feel like she probably owns everything from here so I'm really hoping she doesn't already have this necklace it's a really pretty like beaded gold necklace with some designs on it let me take it out this is it it's really nice i hope she likes it i'm just gonna wrap it up and write her a little birthday card to go with it got some groceries i haven't been cooking at home a lot which is like not good because i've been ordering way too much lately and before that i was cooking most meals at home and now the last i would say week or so i've just been ordering food and so i want to get back to cooking because i just realized it feels so much better when you make food at home so we got a lot of groceries it's heavy i got my favorite bread it's this health factory zero maida whole wheat bread i love this bread got some pre marinated zatar chicken eggs banana udon noodles zucchini more eggs pineapple i'm allergic to pineapple fun fact but shane likes it ice apple because of course shane garlic dip butter tzatziki green beans tomatoes figs multi grain tortilla wraps english cucumbers and finally some red cabbage so lots of groceries i'm going to make an avocado toast right now as well for brunch genuinely the best kombucha i've had here it's so hard to get ripe avocados here so i was so happy when my dad called me yesterday and he was like hey i have two extra ripe avocados do you want it i was like uh yeah mm so what all of you guys are here for the giveaway the reason i decided to do this giveaway is because two videos ago when i asked you guys for feedback i got such an overwhelming response and when i say overwhelming i mean it i put up a screenshot of how many responses we got almost a thousand which is insane to me it's so like like i was telling shane even i was like emotionally overwhelmed not in a bad way in an amazing way because i felt so supported by you guys and i just wanted to cry i don't know just how much you guys helped me out and so i wanted to do a little giveaway for you guys this is not affiliated with any brand or anything whatsoever this is just some of my favorite things that i want to be able to give away to you guys because i got so much from you guys i also want to be able to give back to you so i'll show you the products that are in this giveaway these are some of my favorite products i would say like 99% of them you've heard me talk about so you'll know why i decided to make this box based on everything that i love let's show you some of the products that i put together
together. So number one, of course, I can't make a box of my favorite products and not include Murad. So I have a Murad clarifying water gel. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. So we have this. Then we have one of my favorite perfumes. It's Fame by Paco Rabani. Then we have these vitamin C capsules by Elizabeth Arden, which I also love. And of course, Moroccan oil hair treatment. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this a million times. So I love this Moroccan oil treatment. My favorite brow kit from Anastasia. It has the brow definer pencil. It has the mini dip brow gel and it has a clear brow gel. So it has everything. And then of course my favorite lipsticks, the matte lipsticks from Huda Beauty. The one I chose is, is my favorite color. It's bombshell. I feel like it goes on everyone's skin. We also have fun, two little fun sheet masks from Sephora. So this one is a lychee face mask and this is an aloe vera face mask. We also have my favorite lip treatment from Laneige. We have a little mini eyeshadow. Ooh sorry this fell out we have a mini eyeshadow kit from anastasia which i also love the estee lauder advanced night repair serum love this product you've probably heard me talk about this and the under eye serum and we also have two really nice candles from my mom's favorite store and a store i love too nicoba one of the candles is madurai which is basically mogra and the other one is neroli and grape because self-care is not incomplete without some candles and of course one of my favorite products that i used in my first ever youtube video the nudies all over map and yeah those are all the products that are in this box it's nothing crazy but it's just some of my favorite products and just a way for me to be able to give back to you guys so to enter the giveaway these are the things you need to do number one you have to subscribe to me on YouTube. Number two, you have to follow me on Instagram. And number three, you have to fill out the form in the description. I'm going to put a little entry form in the description. It's just like a Google form where you fill in all the details like your name and your Instagram handle so I can reach out to you if you win. And mention the three products you're the most excited for and why. And that's it. I would ask you to comment on YouTube but sometimes for some reason YouTube deletes comments that have Instagram handles in it. I don't know why. That's why I made a form instead that's all you have to do the giveaway is going to be open till february 15th and then on february 15th at night i will announce the winner on my instagram so yeah it's a little bit later it's time to get ready for my mom's birthday dinner i actually got a bunch of new makeup stuff and if you know me then you know that when i find a makeup product i like i use the same thing and i don't really try other stuff out but recently i actually tried a bunch of cool makeup products and there's a few new makeup products that i really like i thought i'll do a get ready with me and show you guys some of the new stuff that i like now first i'm gonna put on some moisturizer i'm using the hydrating gel cream from simple this is what i use every time i do my makeup just because it's really light and it's like kind of like watery now i'm using my current favorite kind of foundation but it's so light i don't even know if it's technically foundation it's the hollywood flawless filter from charlotte tilbury i just love this because it's super light it doesn't even feel like you're wearing foundation it doesn't look cakey it's like really thin too it's not like heavy at all and i'm just gonna blend it in if you've watched a couple of my previous get ready with me's you know that i'm obsessed with the Too faced bomb this way concealer but i actually found another one that i love I would say just as much. It's the Huda Beauty 4 Filter Concealer. I really like how easy it blends in. I just love this one. So this is one of the new products that I've been loving. Now I'm just going to blend it in with the Beauty Blender. Just look at how good it just blends so fast. Now I'm using the setting powder from K-Beauty. And I'm just going to put it in my under eye area. And just let it sit there for a little bit now i'm using this contour palette also from k beauty and i'm just gonna take this dark shade and then just put it in my k beauty i would say is probably one of my favorite indian makeup brands and the thing is so many celebrities have makeup brands that sometimes i feel like they do it just for the money i feel like k beauty is an exception because it kind of reminds me of like fenty and rare beauty where they're celebrity brands but they're such good products and i really like k beauty as well i feel like the product quality is really good i'm gonna go over the k beauty bronzer and i'm also gonna use the fenty beauty one just so it stands out a little more Next for blush, I'm using this Nudies Matte Luxe blush from Nude Sticks. It's one of my favorite blushes and I used to use the same one years ago for a very long time but it was called Sunset Strip so this is a new shade that I found and I like it a lot. And then I'm just gonna blend it in. 
Now I'm gonna move on to eyes. So this is my new favorite eyeshadow palette. It's called Empowered and it's from Huda Beauty. The shades are just like, wow. I'm just gonna do a really light, smoky eye kind of eye. I'm starting with this shade called Keep Going. It's like a basic bronzy shade and I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid. Now I am using this shade, it's called Confident. It's like a brown, like a darker brown shade and I'm just gonna smoke out the eye over here. Smoked out the eye. Now I'm gonna use the same dark shade and put it like in my waterline area. I have this really tiny brush that I'm gonna use to do that and I'm just gonna put it in that shade and then just use it like at the corner of my waterline. Now last for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this shade Do It. It's like a shimmery shade. I'm just gonna take like the lightest amount of it, make sure there's no fallout and then just put it on the top of my eyelid just so there's a little shimmer going on, you know? Now I'm using this Lakme Iconic Kajal and I'm just gonna put it in my waterline. And last for eyes, I'm gonna use my current favorite mascara, which is the One Coat Wow from Huda Beauty and it really lives up to the name. Just wait and watch. Like, just look at the difference. This is literally one coat. This video is sounding like it's sponsored by Huda Beauty, but I've actually just rediscovered how much I love Huda Beauty because it used to be my favorite makeup brand when I was 16. And then I kind of forgot about it when I discovered some other stuff. And now I've rediscovered how good it is. And it's just like, wow. Now I'm using this highlight blush palette from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is my current favorite highlight, this one. And I'm just going to finish off the face. And we are almost done. Last is lips. So first I'm going to use this lip pencil from MAC in the shade Soar. And I'm just going to line my lips. And then I'm going to take this lip pencil from Huda Beauty in the shade Muted Pink. And I'm just going to fill in a little in the middle area and then just mix it together and the last step for my lips is lip gloss and this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Gloss but I'm only gonna wear this just before entering the restaurant because I end up eating it so I'm only gonna put it on so it's fresh when I'm entering the restaurant other than that this is the makeup look now I just have to do my hair and pick an outfit the sunset is so pretty right now oh my god this is the outfit the dress is from Shub Shri Studios I was gonna wear a different one also from Shubshri Studios that I posted that I'm gonna post a get ready with me in but Shane told me it was too much so I went with this one instead but we're running late so it's time to leave